Aloha. Welcome to the solar panel, solar energy, industrial craft 2 tutorial. It's going to be a very basic tutorial. We're going to talk about solar panels, how to make them, and their basic uh, placement. So to begin with, the solar panel is the basic solar panel is made this way. You take a generator, two electronic circuits on either side, glass cubes and coal dust. Coal dust is made by dropping coal into a macerator and it will grind it into coal dust. The electronic circuit is six copper cable, two redstone and a refined iron in this pattern or this pattern. That will give you a solar panel. The low voltage solar array is eight solar panels with a low voltage transformer in the middle. The low voltage transformer is made in this way. Three copper bars, and that's the industrial craft version. Two copper cables, and four wooden planks. The medium voltage solar array is made in this way. Eight low voltage solar arrays surrounding a medium voltage transformer gives you a medium voltage solar array. The medium voltage transformer is made in this way, a machine block and two two times insulated gold cables, one above and one below. The last solar array is the high voltage solar array and it's created with, you guessed it, eight medium voltage solar arrays surrounding a high voltage transformer. The high voltage transformer is created with a medium voltage transformer in the middle, an energy crystal on the right, four times insulated high voltage cable uh, above and below, and an electronic circuit on the left. The energy crystal, I didn't map it here, but it's a diamond surrounded by uh, redstone. So you would have redstone and a diamond, and that creates an energy crystal crystal doesn't have to be charged. So what do you do with the uh, solar panels? Well when the sun's out it makes energy for industrial craft to items. So what we have here are four electrical cables projecting down from the roof. Well, let's go up on the roof and here they are. So we can place our solar arrays. The basic solar panel is placed, it can be placed on any of these cables, but it works very well with the ultra low voltage tin cable. The reason is it has the lowest loss for this kind of output, the ultra low voltage. Next we have the low voltage solar array, which is safely placed on copper cable or greater. Next we have the medium voltage solar array safely placed on copper I'm sorry gold cable or higher and all these cables that are insulated have the most insulation possible that gives you the, the um, lowest loss and also uh, eliminates any chance that you can get electrocuted and lastly the high voltage solar array we're placing on the four times insulated high voltage cable like so. Now those are all generating power now since the sun's out. All we have to do is hook up here some storage devices. We're going to use bat boxes for the first two, an MFE and an MFSU for the other two. It really doesn't matter but the other, the last two, the medium voltage solar array and the high voltage solar array will charge so quickly that a bat box will be quickly overwhelmed. So this is the pattern. Normal solar, lo uh, low voltage solar array, medium voltage solar array, and the high voltage. And we're going to connect down here two bat boxes. And we'll look at those really closely here. Interesting. We got a little glitch here, ruining an otherwise horrible video.
Okay, that one's taken off. It's off to the races. Let's try another one. Interesting again. Let's get rid of this solar panel and put a different one on. And we still don't have power. Interesting again. So what we'll do is we'll grab some ultra low voltage cable and we'll make sure we use the right cable. Really shouldn't be making a difference. Well, folks, I'm stumped. Ruining a perfectly horrible video. Alright, now we're achieving energy. I apologize, I don't understand what the issue is. I think it's a glitch. I really do. It shouldn't matter the placement. In fact, I'm going to try this again. Just because just because it should work. Well, alright, there you have it. Clears mud. So here's your energy generation. As you can see, it's fairly slow. Compared to the low voltage array, which is going quite a bit faster and has already f over halfway filled the bat box. So moving on, let's place our last two. The medium voltage in a storage and the high voltage in a storage. The medium voltage array, as you can see, is off to the races. It's going to quickly surpass this bat box. Twenty-two, twenty-seven. Oh yeah, twenty-eight. Yep, yeah, it's past it. But can you imagine what one high voltage array? That's already a quarter of a million. So that's what kind of solar power generation you can expect with solar arrays. Remember it takes eight of these to create one of these, eight of these to create one of these which means 64 of these, and eight of these to create one of these which is, uh, I didn't do the math, a lot. So placement, whatever your cable is, you should be able to place them just so they touch. The main requirement is going to be that there's no block above. And remember, there's potential here. As you can see, these are all attached. But they don't block each other. So when you create your arrays, there will be areas in which you won't be able to attach. So that corner right there attaches on both sides. Just like this one attaches on both sides. So you'll be able to create rows if you wish particularly if you want to stick with a smaller size. There's enough here for several low voltage arrays or a couple of them, but you may prefer to stick with the regular ones depending on your space uh, constraints. The other thing I forgot is you can open and see the amount of sunlight received. See this is saying there's no sun Oh, I know exactly what's wrong. See it's fortuitous that we left this on way up there is a windmill directly over this space. So even though it's broad daylight, the block above is blocking this. Absolutely no generation. So I'm glad I didn't edit this uh, mistake out of the video or we wouldn't have noticed that. You'll have to keep that in mind when you play something. That, that block has to be kept uncovered to infinity or to the top of the world. You can't have anything over it. So that block has a windmill. And we'll get to windmills eventually. So there's no generation here. These all show full generation. Another note about solar power. If it rains, you will lose all of your generation. So 
solar is all on or all off. There are no modifiers, there are no bonuses. All you have is pure generation and then loss in your cables. This concludes the solar panel tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Aloha and mahalo.